is it better to write on your phone or your laptop? Yeah, this isn't actually my phone. I use my phone to film these videos. No special camera or anything, just my iPhone. Last week, I did an experiment to see if it's better to write out your first draft in a notebook or type it out on a laptop. Going into that video, while I did have a hunch, I was not 100% sure how that was going to go. While I'm trying not to go into this experiment biased, I think it's pretty clear that typing a book in your laptop is better than writing it on your phone. I would be genuinely shocked if I found out at the end of this video that the best way to write a book was typing it on your phone. Your phone is basically the same thing as your computer, only there's 10 times the distractions. Instead of typing with all your fingers, you're only using two. But while I am pretty confident that my computer will be the winner here, I am pretty curious to see how much I'll be able to write on my phone. I guess what I'm really wondering here is, is typing up a book on your phone a viable second option? I'm really curious about that because in high school, I spent a lot of time typing drafts out on my phone. On the train to school or the bus to hockey games, I didn't have any Wi-Fi, so I would just type on my phone. More recently, when I took on my challenge to write an entire book in one week, I actually found myself writing a bit on my phone to give myself a break from the computer. That challenge was awful. I do not recommend you try to write a book in one week. If you are curious though about how awful a book written in only one week would be, I'll link the Wattpad link below. Remember though, before you judge me, I wrote the entire thing in seven days. What I'm really looking to find out in this writing experiment is, is it worth it to write in your phone as a backup option? Say you have a commute or a 15 minute lunch break, is it worth it to pull out your phone and write a few words? Or is there a major drop off in quality and quantity of words written on your phone compared to on your laptop? For this experiment, I'll be writing for 30 minutes on my computer and then I'll write for 30 minutes on my phone. Once I finish each writing session, I'll tell you how many words I wrote for each and I'll tell you about the quality of those words. And then I'll finish this video off with some final thoughts on whether or not it's worth it to write on your phone. Speaking of which, let me know in the comments if you've ever written a draft on your phone. At the very least, before taking on this experiment, I feel writing on your phone is a pretty good backup option if you don't have anything else. I mean, my phone is good enough to create these videos. I'm sure I could write a draft on it if I had to. I'm going to get writing now, though, because it's 3 a.m. Why am I recording this late? I have no idea. So on the computer I wrote 776 words towards my draft, that's pretty standard for me. I typically write over 1200 words per hour and I kind of noticed that after the first half hour I kind of slow down. That's one of the reasons I'm doing half hour writing sessions for this experiment. Also it was like 3am when I started this so it would be a pretty bad idea to do a full hour session for both. Had I have a standard for writing for 30 minutes on my laptop, I'm going to write on my phone for 30 minutes to see how it goes. I must be getting a little bit tired here because my brain just imploded trying to figure out how I can film a time lapse of myself typing on my phone with my phone. That's, I can't do that, stupid. If this was like an actual scientific experiment, it probably is not a good idea that I'm doing the phone section when I'm more tired than the computer section, but who cares? It's not a big deal. This is not AP physics. God, I hated that class. Shit, the sun's coming out. I probably should have went to bed and filmed this tomorrow. Oh well, too late now. In 30 minutes writing on my phone, I ended up writing 507 words. That's over 200 words slower than the rate I wrote on my computer for, but not bad at all. I did notice a little bit while I was writing on my phone, I would tend to write blockier paragraphs that told rather than showed what was going on in the story. So that's something I have to keep in mind, but for the most part, the quality of the story was up to par. I will admit it was much harder to focus on writing while I was on my phone. There were a couple times where I got an Instagram notification and I accidentally opened it up. I also feel like I get a better writing mindset when I sit down at my computer. That being said, as a way to squeeze a few hundred more words in a day, I think writing on my phone is a great idea. Will I be replacing writing on my computer with writing on my phone? Absolutely not. After this experiment, am I trying to write more on the bus, the train, or in the car when I have nothing else to do on my phone? Absolutely. I spend way too much time a day on my phone, and while it is ideal for me to cut back on that, it couldn't hurt to find some more productive ways to use it. It's really become apparent to me recently how much 100 words here or 100 words there can add up over time. If I can write 100 or so words the next time I have a 15 minute bus ride, of course I'm going to do it. Unlike writing drafts out on paper, I can definitely see myself using my phone to write out parts of my draft. But that just means it works for me. Let me know if writing on your phone works for you. Remember, every writer is unique. That's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your writing journey.